Hello, Filtubers, Filtubers here, and welcome to the third episode of the Danish Stream and Velo Manager. This video was actually supposed to go up yesterday, but since I was really, really, really mad yesterday, I didn't feel like making a video. Let me just explain you why. So, in Denmark, when you're 18, you can get your driver's license, and I'm getting my driver's license, and I had my test yesterday with a police officer at my side driving around in uh, downtown Sonobor, where I need to get my driver's license, and I basically failed for a bullshit reason. And I was just so pissed the entire day I couldn't make a video. I was just sitting inside my room, so depressed, so sad. But today, I'm not as depressed. I'm still depressed, but life goes on. It's not what we say. The show must go on. Let's start off this video. So, a week has passed. Let's take a look at the results, first of all. By the way, guys, let me hear. Which division are you in? Because I already know that... I know where the code is at. I know where Sharp is at. I know where TACC, also known as Danny, is at. And I kind of just control around to see where people are at. It's kind of a lot of fun, actually. But let's start off with the World Championship. The World Championship was won by a Luxembourg rider, Johnny Turgis. And this was a sprint stage, so it's kind of interesting to watch. But, I mean, it doesn't really have any influence on me whatsoever. Then we had a stage that really had an influence on me, the Flash Valon. I brought two riders to this. Why is it not... Huh? That's weird. Well, I brought some riders to this. And it, oh, national selection. That's why. <laughs> Let me go to AJ. That's my division with Fias and Handsball. So I brought Lemass and uh, Mark Antonio Spion and Andy Armstrong. I expected to win this one, and technically I did, because being second right after Aussie Violin is winning in our division. Like, it's so difficult to beat this guy, and we did pretty good, in my opinion. We got third with Mark, uh, with Mark Antonio Spion, and that's what I went for. Then we had the next one, a time trial. This one I had to win. I have, what's his name, Vicente Pietro on my team, and he's really, really good. Part 4, I was ahead by 20 seconds. When I watched the finish, my heart stopped beating for a second, because I lost 13 seconds, because he fell in the final kilometers. He still won. So if it's, um, Pietro Vicente won me that stage, but holy crap, my heart skipped the beat when I first saw that. Next up, we have... This mountain stage, and there is no chance whatsoever I was going to win this. I brought my four Danish mountain guys, and they all really, they just suck balls. No, there's nothing else to say about that. I got like 23rd or something like that. I got 17th. Very, very bad. Hansel got 3rd, and Fias got 4th. So congrats, congratulations to them, but I did really bad. Then we had yesterday's stage, I believe this was. Yes, it's the hilly stage. And once again, I brought my two best hilly guys, Mark Antonio Spion and Ahmed Lamassan. And... There's no way I was going to win this. I mean, at part four, it looked like I was going to get third place. And you go to the finish line, and where was I? I mean, I was all the way down here in seventh place. It really sucked. Uh, I expected more from you, Spione. But yeah, you might be wondering, why is your name so weird, Failure? That's because I bought VIP. Uh, this is not an uh, advertisement to buy VIP, because having VIP really makes no difference whatsoever. I just have so much money, I start giving back to Velo Manager, and just just for the fun of it. I mean, five bucks is not a lot, in my, my opinion, in my case, because I'm also, since I'm turning 18, I'm going to receive a lot of money from the government, which is always great. So, let's take a look at the riders. I really bought no, I didn't buy any new riders. I saw, I sold a lot of the the bad riders, like the one, all the ones I got in the beginning that really worth, weren't worth a lot. I just sold them, I fired them, and it went, I went down a minus by doing that, but I get plus money every day now. I don't have to pay their wages, and it's pretty good. So I guess you can just show you, I can show you, you can stop the video and check my riders if you want to, and you can ask me in the comment section below how much I paid for them, but I mean, you can just go on the transfer market and do what I told you with. Like searching for one dollar or searching for two thousand and get what you get what they need. Also, guy, also guys, a uh, tip that I forgot to mention to you guys. I would recommend putting the resting limit at eighty-seven. This way, you're guaranteed to always have your riders in shape for a stage while also getting some. Uh, how do I explain this? Getting some uh, experience, getting some higher stats. So, what is left in this to watch? Uh, I guess I can show you some of the VIP things you get. You get this follow-up thing, so you can see how much they grow every day. So, let's take a look. I'm in the mass and grows a mountain. Not that important, but Andy Armstrong, a really good talent, growing everything every day. I mean, being named Armstrong is not bad. Also, I want to show you, Hendrik Andresen, the guy with the most amount of UCV points for me, is really, really good. He's 22 years old, and he's already this good. I can't wait for this guy to be like 27, he's going to have everything above 75, which is really good and I can sell him for quite a lot, but that's in three seasons time, so that's going to take a long while. So guys, also, uh, I 
I, I, I fired all my stat and I said, I went down to local. This was recommended by Shar's mentor. I'm not sure what his name is. But this was recommended by Shar's mentor to put them all down to local. That way you save money. Don't worry though. When you do this, you're going to go in minus. But if you win a stage or if you just have a lot of uh, a lot of shops, you're going to pay yourself back in one day. But if you don't, this might be kind of risky because if you go minus 100 euros... 100,000 euros, you will lose your best rider and your staff will be fired and you have to start all over and it's not very good. By the way guys, you cannot have two accounts. If you're thinking about cheating and making a second account through like hidemyass.com and sending 500,000 to your main account, you will get banned. Sharp and his friend tried doing this and his friend got banned. So watch out for that. I also know the fires did this. And guys, I want to say thank you to you guys, first of all, because a lot of you guys said thanks to my mentor. Let me just find him. CLHS. You all said thanks to him, but you asked him more questions. And you got to be careful about this, because this guy, it seems like he's getting pushed. Like, I mean, I love that you guys are saying thank you to him. But watch out, watch out though, because you're asking him a lot of questions. And I already asked pretty much all the questions that you guys have been asking and I've got all the answers to it so if you just message me instead and I can message you back that's way better Kevin and I or the code and I have been doing this instead of the code asking my mentor he's asking me and then I go to my mentor or I ask or I respond to him with the answer because this way we put less stress on my mentor and we put more we just made the community grow bigger because if you gotta look at this. If we push my mentor off the edge, he will never respond again to us. And then we're gonna lose a big valuable person. So that's kind of, you gotta be careful about this. Another tip, guys. The end of the season is coming up. The 17th is the end of the season, which is six days from now. You will lose one level in every equipment. So you will go down one level in every equipment if you bought equipment. So you gotta sell it. The 16th, you gotta sell all your equipment and buy it back to the 18th. Just so you know, that's so you don't lose all your money, which would be kind of catastrophic. Uh, also, at the end of the season, you're going to be able to make a course. And this is kind of like a training cap. And they will get, like, boosted stats. I, I believe they'll get, like, plus three in the stats you choose. So, uh, choose careful. It costs 500 per day. So, if you choose, if you're in low, if you have no money, I wouldn't recommend doing this. But, actually, I would. Just do it anyway. You'll get the money back if you have a lot of shops. Now, let's take a look at my division. Fires, Handsball, and I won't... We won't promote this season, which is good, which is really, really good. Because in Division 6 and Division 5, it's all about getting money. If you promote when you're not ready to promote, you will you will lose hard in Division 5, and you will not have a good time, and you'll most likely quit this game, which is not good for anyone. But we see Fires have been doing really good lately, and he's I've heard he's doing a cleanup in his, uh, yeah, he's doing a cleanup in his team. So if you want a rider that Fires have had, you can go buy him. I mean, it's not a bad choice. I mean, this guy's not bad at all. 81 flat, 77 mountain, and good resistance. I mean, you can get him for 15,000, which is overpriced as hell, if I ask, but whatever. Is he, is he selling everyone for 15,000? He's selling everyone for 15,000. I mean, I, I... Nah, it's not worth it. It's actually not worth it. I mean, if you sell them for like... If you sold them for like 1 euro, it'd be worth it, but I don't believe that's worth it. So, uh, what else is there to check up on as of now? You can see my fi finances. I have 10 shops, and I get 11,000 per day. So I right now I get eighteen thousand per day, without doing anything. And every race bonus, uh, like a every race benefit you get, it's just bonus. And getting the shops early might be a good thing. Yet I mean, you can also if you don't have the right riders before you go out and buy ten shops, you will not have a fun time in this game. Cause all about getting those results are all the best things. Let's take a look at the stages coming up today. We have Straight Bianca. This is a stage that I plan on winning, but it's most likely not going to happen with RC Violin dominating. So, I have a lot of good hilly guys, and I'm reverting back to my original tactic. Because in the last hilly stage, Ascaliarso, which is uh, RC Violin's best hiller guy, he's probably got like 95 hill. He went away in part. What? Oh. He went away in part 2, and this time I plan on following. I plan on following him this time. God. Dang it, go to this one. Okay, he went away in part two with like one minute. I mean, you can see it right here. He's got one minute on these followers, and he's got two minutes on the rest of us. So I'm planning on trying to keep up with him by doing 75, 75, 75, 85, 90. I mean, I gotta do something, because I'm tired of losing to this guy, and I'm gonna try something. It's It might not work out, but I mean, you don't lose anything, really, so you just gotta try your best. 
The guys that I'm bidding on right now will be uh, uh, Ulibek Regimentov, which is the Uzbekistan guy, and he's got really good cobblestone. I'm looking to get a cobblestone right, uh, right as of now. I only have Hendrik Anderson, and the guy is not good enough to win. So I am bidding 20,000 on this guy. Please don't go outbid me, guys. That'd be a douchebag move. So I'm trying to get this guy. Most likely won't get him since you see the, the similar race, the recent transfers are above 100,000, and I'm not willing to pay that. Also bidding on another guy. I am bidding on this guy, uh, even Nevzemiyashev. He's a Kazakhstanian rider, and he's got a really good mountain, and I'm looking to get a mountain rider, because I have been doing terrible in the mountains so far. My Danish guys have really let me down. So, guys, I think that's all for this time. If you got me any questions, or if you want to ask me anything, just put it in the comment section below. Actually, we can just go check out how Sharp and those guys are doing. See, I know Sharp is an AF, uh... Sharp AF, where is AF? I'm probably skipping it. Uh, AF, AF, AF. So tell me in the comment section below which division you're in, what's your name, and if you got any questions, just ask me. Yes, we see. This is Sharp's team. He's done really good. He's, he's bought two guys. Not bad at all. We also have the code in... Oh, what the heck? We have the code in AT, which is also... He also won his very first stage, I believe. He's done really good so far. So... We can just check him out. I think his team, yeah, his team is U.S. Postal. Already got one victory. Not bad at all. So, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Sorry for not getting it out yesterday. I was really mad yesterday. But if you stayed all the way to the end, let me know in the comment section below as well. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.